Today we are diving deep into the versatile world of Nux 3, focusing on a feature that might seem simple at first glance but it is often misunderstood. Yes, I'm talking about dynamic routing. Whether you are new to Nux.js or an experienced developer, this video is set to uncover the nuances and capabilities of dynamic routing that many in the Nux community are yet to fully explore. So gear up for a session filled with insight, tips and real world examples. By end of this video, you will be well equipped to harness the power of dynamic routing in Nux3. So let's get started. Before I start the video, let's see what we are going to learn today. We are going to learn to make dynamic routes inside Nux. Then we will also see how to create nested route inside, uh, inside a, another page. So you can see we are going to another page, but uh in, in in the url but we're still seeing some portion of the previous page so we'll see how to do that as well we would also see how to use the next page component in our benefit and how we can pass around data from one page to another page without calling the api multiple times we'll also see the ways to create dynamic routes and also we'll see how many a level of nesting we can do inside the next so before we go into the tutorial please make sure you have subscribed the channel and also give it a thumbs up so we'll start off by creating a simple uh, route and then we'll start creating the dynamic routes so let's suppose this is our application and we would like to create a new page for the users so what i'll do i'll instead of creating a file i'll create a folders and i'll call it users right so this uh, if i now create an index file inside the inside the users and let's say let's just call it users let's go back to our browser and let's visit the users page so as you can see you have the users right so this uh this is a static route there's nothing dynamic about it let's try to add a little bit of dynamic uh, things into it so what i'll do now i'll create another page another folder just write let's just create a file instead so i'll just create uh id and i'll call it id view right uh, so let's remove one extension this should be only view and now i have user dynamic page so now if you go inside the user's directory and if you uh, append it with any other parameters it should land you to this page so how do we access this particular variable we can just use a composable called use route use route and we can tap into the params sometimes your vs code might show you this error so for that what you can do you can just reload your window for that you can try command shift p and then select reload window once you do that your error would be gone and now you can access your id right and it says id is of type string or string of array so let's try to uh, let's try to print that here let's save it and let's enter so as you can see we are getting the uh, dynamic portion of of our uh, from our routes so this is how you create a dynamic route but there is more to it since i'm making a separate video just for this topic then expect more than just the normal so we'll try we'll now try to create a demo we'll try to um think of example and then we'll try to understand uh, what we are actually doing so we have this dummy json api and through which uh, we'll be trying to create an example uh, application or example pages and we'll, do, we'll try to understand the dynamic routing concept in uh, details so we have uh, this users api and as you can see we can get all the users and what i'm particularly interested in 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 the users uh, the resources related to the users so you can see we we can get the users cart value so if i show you uh, this particular thing you can see 
user has something in the cart, right? And just like that, we can also get uh, the the post uh, created by the users, right? So you can see we have the post. And then we can also get the to-dos. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to create a page where you will have the users and then you will have the user's ID and then you will have um, you will have your ID here, for example, let's say one, and then you can go to post to view the posts, and then you can go to uh, to dos to view the to dos for that users, and also um, you will still see the users uh, details as well. So what I'll, what I'm going to do now, without uh, without any further ado, let's let's try to build this thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this uh, particular uh not this one so first thing we need is the user details so let's uh, do that so first thing i'm going to do i'm going to go inside the id and i'm going to use the use fetch and inside that let's try to show the data here is it users one and as you can see we have the users the username is terry so what we would like to do is we like to have this information in the page and also we'd like to have something, some, some sort of a tab where you can click and then you can view the post, you can view all the things. So let's just build a quick and dirty UI to just understand the topic. All right, guys. So we have this basic design, and now what I want to, uh, what I want is whenever you click on these uh, particular links, um, the particular sub page should appear here. So how do you do that? You might think you can create a component and then you can uh, conditionally render based on the reference, but trust me, there's a better way to do. So let's do that. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create another another directory and I'll call it simply just ID, right? Inside the ID here, I'm going to create another page. I'll take index, right? So now what this index will do, so let's call it nested. And we don't have any changes so far because the next router when it is checking for the uh when it is checking for the match it is already finding a match right here right so that's why it's not going any deeper just for your information if you uh if you want to know what next uses behind the scenes to match all these uh routes they use this uh a algorithm called radix free if you want to know more about it then you should uh, head over to the uh, to the Wikipedia page of it. It is a quite a simple algorithm, but it's quite uh, effective and it can. So I highly recommend you if you want to dig deeper into the more details, so go to this particular uh, visit the know the working of the Radix free. Anyway, so let's get back to the topic. So. What we want is this nested page should uh, render right here. So what we do, we go inside the ID and we basically uh, remove this uh, data and we just write next page. So now we have a nested page component inside that. And bam, you see, we have now the nested page content inside inside here isn't it awesome now you can create nested page such as post to do's and cards inside your id directory and it will dynamically match and it will render right here so we have our index page so let's uh, put our index data uh, page data right here now you might think you can how do you get the you get the users data from here to here now there are multiple ways of doing that what i prefer i'll tell you later so what you can do you can also bind your data inside the next uh, page component what i would like to show you let me take you to the documentation and let me uh, 
let me open the documentation for you so that you understand what I'm trying to say. So go to the next page uh, component documentation and you will see uh, that when you go to the next uh, page component documentation, you can see you can use the additional custom props name. And these custom props are accessible via at attributes in the next app. So you can use that use attributes and then the name of the uh, props. So we're just going to do that. So this is one way of sending data from parent page to the sub page. So let's let's just say user and I'm going to bind it with the with our data, right? So now let's see if we are able to get this data inside inside the sub page. So what we will do is the uh, const and then we'll use use attributes and it will have basically our so let's try to print this one and let's see what happens so as you can see we still see our data you might ask why why is this squiggly line error why does it say that this is um this is the particular problem with vs code so what you need to do is again reload the page and i think this error should be gone yes it is now gone so now you have the access to the data there's one other way of doing it so what you can do is you can use with a use page you can also use a key right you have to use the key and then uh in the inside the inside the child component for example let's say this one you can use another composable called use next data and you have to give the same key here and basically you will get the data from the next use next data this is a little bit ver verbose so that's why i prefer using uh, in this way so now that we have our users data let's now try to create the post uh, to do some cut page see we have here on level of uh, nesting right so first we have the users and then inside the users we are taking a dynamic uh, we have a dynamic route and inside the dynamic route now we are matching uh, now we are creating the nested uh, sub routes so to, to creating a uh, post page is uh, very easy what you got to do is inside the id you got to create another page called posts maybe right posts so now you can just copy uh, the other data from here and what you can do you can go inside the post and you can basically uh, use the same params id because you will still have the params id and you can go inside the post and you will get the data right here right so now if you click on the posts you will see all this post but we are not clicking on it and i what i would like to show you is when you click on the post you basically go to a nested route so let me uh let me do that for you so i'll just add a link here so let's say two and inside the two what i'll do is i'll do a name and uh, what what would be the name the name would be users then the id then uh, then it would be posts and in the params we are we also have to pass the the id of the users right so we are dynamically sending the user id over to our post page think of the post page as a standalone page but it is getting the ids from the uh, from the ids from the user's id right we can send it or we can not send it it's totally up to us so let's click on the posts and you can see now we have the posts data and you can see in the url you have uh, the posts now if i go to a new page right what i would like to show you is if i go to the new page you can see next first rendered this portion of the page which is our root page of the user right so inside the user dynamic uh, page first this page is getting rendered inside that we are fetching some data right and then next try to look for if there is something else uh if they want to uh if they can render so they they 
now they they immediately see there is there's this next page now they start matching this route um this route with with other nested part so now this id is matching with this folder right this directory so it will match this one and since our route also has the post it will match this particular page hence you are seeing this post page now, similar way we can also do the uh, the to do's as well so let's just quickly do that so i'm just going to copy this whole page i'm going to create a new page i'm going to call it to do's and i'm going to paste this one here and i'm going to call the to do's here so you can see we have the post and let's click on the to do's but we have to change the links here as well so let's do that so i'm going to call the two and here you go let's click on to do's and we have our to do now we have a to do we can go to the post page we can go to the to do's page and you will see all these are coming from our dynamic route now you might think there might be more nesting can you do that of course you can do that for example let's say now you need to uh, know the post uh, post details as well so for that you need to create a new uh, dynamic route for the post can you do that of course you can do that so let's try let's just try without talking let's just uh, try to do that so what we'll do instead of post uh, post page what we're going to do is we are going to uh, create a folder called called posts right posts inside the posts we are going to move this folder and then inside that i'm going to write index.view right and then let's uh, let's create another file let's call it post id right so this would be our uh, dynamic post page so let's paste all this let's get the post let's get the post id and uh, let's try to get the posts posts and post id as id and there you go let's uh, try to go inside one level deeper and let's uh, try to get the post number one it's not working so let's uh, try to rerun it, re it again and you can see we have our posts so sometime when you change the routes it's uh, it's a good idea to uh, rerun your application so now you have your posts you can go to the all post post page you can go to the to do's page and let's go back to the post and let's try to visit the post number three and as you can see now you have the post number three so by doing all this what I wanted to show you is how um, how much of a hidden feature there are there is inside the, inside the Nux routing, and you can really uh, do a lot of things with it um, that was otherwise impossible. Uh, I mean, it was possible, but it should be something you know work around, not a proper way. So this feature changed a lot of things, and it 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 is a totally game changer. The next uh, routing is pretty are solid so you can do a lot of other things as well so let me just give you an example of it so for example let's say you have uh you have a new uh let's say you have a new route called posts for example let's say and then inside that you have something like this so the slug of the post and then for example let's say a uh, blog something like so a part of which is static and then the part then the other part of it is a dynamic so can this will this work let's try so what i'll do now i will also try to get the this time it's not id but it is slug so let's get the slug and let's see if we are getting the slugs so let's go inside the posts and as you see we don't have anything inside the post since we don't have the index file for the post so we are not seeing anything so what i'll do now i'll just write abc so what happens we don't see anything so what i'll do now let's say abc blog dash abc so let's say blog dash abc and you can see we can do that as well so isn't it awesome so you can 
mix match with your static and the variable part uh, with uh, in in the in your route as well. So let's see let's see let's just see uh, the generated route in our next dev tools. So what I'm going to go is to the page inside the page. Now you see this is our active route. So this part would be matched and then you will get your variable your params from this particular portion then we have our users index page we have our users slash user id page we have then our user slash user so, so so this is how the matching happens so you go to the users and then users id so you'll see this page then you will go inside the users then id and post so if that the thing matches with this one then you will see uh you'll see the post page and then you can go on let on more level deep and then you can also uh do for the posts as well and same way you can do for the uh to do's so let's summarize what we have learned so far so we have learned how the dynamic routes uh work in next we also see how we can uh we can do dynamic route in a nested way in such a way that uh, the nested part can be the part of uh, part of the current page. So as an example, we took we we have created this page, the user page, where in the sidebar we have all the user information, and inside inside our main portion, main page area, we have uh, the related data. So we use the next page component, and then inside that we have uh, tried one. We have gone on more level deep, and we have also created some sub pages and we have also seen how to pass around the data we have uh, we have looked at two way one way is to just uh, uh, just pass the pass the data as a, as a props and then use uh, use it inside uh, use it in using the use attributes are composable and just uh, printing the data the other way was to use the key so this is how we have we have seen in terms of the next route we have also seen that you can mix match uh, with your static path with 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 a, with, a, with a static string and your dynamic params you can also use regex as well so i think after watching this video now you have fully understood how next uh, routes uh, is work how next route works and i hope in your next uh, project you can also implement all this technique to make your next application more robust a quick announcement i am currently uh, creating a very big project in next so this would be maybe an upcoming video or maybe a week later a week or two later it would be a full stack web application, uh, a clone of a popular SaaS app. We'll have a lot of things there, drag and drop, file uploading, drag and drop to file upload, all those awesome stuff. So for that, please subscribe the channel. I hope after watching this video now, you also harness the power of Nux3 dynamic routes. If you have any question, feel free to join our Discord server and you can post your question there. If you have some suggestion or feedback about the video, then Please use the comment section and post your thoughts. This is Shahid. I'll meet you in the next one. Till then, stay blessed, stay happy. Bye.